The news summary, good evening. The Public Health Commissioner, Dr. Jude Gideon, has expressed concerns in the rise of COVID-19 cases by 200 active cases during the course of the past two weeks. This is from 152 positive cases from the beginning of November to 352 as of yesterday. So far, about 22,800 COVID-19 cases with four new deaths this, this month have been recorded in Seychelles. At the moment, uh, there are 347 cases that are still active. Dr. Gideon says that all age groups are being affected and that, that there are uh, community uh, transmission in every district. As uh, clusters are still being detected in schools, especially primary schools, Dr. Gideon also said that there is a possibility that the end of year school holiday might come earlier. Increase of about 200 in two weeks' time. This is of concern to us. When we noticed the increase um, two weeks ago, we did send out an alert, but it looked like it was not enough to stop the increase and or to get people to change behavior. Um, we also are seeing the same trend in the seven-day rolling average. It was 15 early in November. Now it's 36. We don't know what next week will bring. So the variant of in circulation is, is definitely Delta. That uh, almost 100% are Delta variant. We all hope for a more normal or more normality during the coming uh, festive season. The government's inviting investors to loan it cash to cover next year's public spending by issuing a more high-interest treasury bonds. It is hoping to raise 400 million rupees from organizations and private individuals purchasing two bond allocations in sales next week. Officials say it's good both for investors and the country, offering safer investment to help pay for the next year's a proposed 10.1 billion rupee budget. Reflecting the country's best interests, it hopes the central bank is issuing more treasury bonds. For investors in the know, it's a real temptation. I need to check what, they, what they're offering, what's the interest rate, and how much money I have to invest. If I'm going to use that money to invest for business, or, or it's just going to be here sitting in, uh, in the bank, so I might as well invest it in a, in a bond. The government's hoping this exercise will raise 400 million rupees and it needs that cash to pay for the proposed 10.1 billion rupee budget outlined last week. Issuing treasury bonds is a way to make some quick cash. It's a bit like asking us for a loan. So what exactly are treasury bonds? Suppose the government's praying for, let's say, 100 rupees. We, the investors, drop 99 rupees in the government's hands, and sometime later, after paying us occasional cash dividends called coupons, they eventually pay us back 100 rupees. Safer than buying shares in a business such as, say, an airline. It's considered as um, uh, the, less, the, uh, the less risky asset in, in uh, any economy because the government has the potential to, to raise taxes to repay its debt, but an Emirates cannot raise taxes to repay uh, the debt. Um, yes, um, the country needs those investments now. As many Seychellois, even overseas one, yeah. they can participate as well. So why not bring their foreign exchange that they have overseas into the local economy? It had earned them 3.5% interest over four years or 4.5% over six for a minimum investment of 1,000 rupees. Economists say it's a wise investment. They are as good as it gets because you, it's a government guaranteed. You are sure you're going to get your return. The, the risks are minimal. And uh, yeah, a sound person or even business would go for that option. This time, the Treasury bond sale will be by auction, highest bidder wins, and it starts on Monday next week. A new factory has been launched as a reminder of the importance of the fishing industry for the Seychelles economy. The unique ocean seafood company inaugurated its factory yesterday. Based at Providence, it should allow the creation of 25 new jobs. Okay. 
Fresh fish cut, prepared and packaged as soon as it leaves the boat, this is the ambition of this brand new factory. Inaugurated by the Minister for Fisheries, Jean-François Ferrari, and owned by the unique Ocean Seafood Company, this modern factory should make it possible to distribute fish in all its forms uh, to the local market. It also aims to export its products. Seychelles' second source of income after tourism, fishing is an economically important sector and creates jobs for the population. James L'Esperance's company previously had 25 employees and with the opening of this new factory, it will double its workforce to 50 employees. The Department of Transport will be revising regulations and policies regarding the standards to follow when using the road. This revision covers a range of standards such as LED lights on vehicles and speed limit. The Principal Secretary for Transport, Patrick André, says that this is because the Department have noticed that some of these factors have continuously been the main reason why, the, why there are many accidents on the roads. President Wilfer Ramkalawan has appointed a new public service appeal board. This follows at the end of the seven-year term of office of the outgoing public service appeal board. The new chairperson of the PSAB is Mr. Brian Gilly, whose appointment took effect on the 11th of November, and Mr. Gérard Edwin Gilly and Ms. Yvonne Louisette Bell as members. President from Calawan thanked all three outgoing members of the PSAB, saying that the PSAB served a most important role in addressing complaints of maladministration in the public sector. He uh, wished uh, the new board uh, every success uh, in uh, discharging its responsibilities. And that's it uh, for the news summary. We'll be back at 8 for the Creole News Bulletin. Bye-bye for now.